Yes, I'm excited too. He's back <laughs> with another great recipe. So this time we're going to make an avocado uh, lime shrimp salad. That's right. Now you say this reminds you a bit of a ceviche. It the, looks so good. It does, doesn't it? I mean, uh, to me, with all of the ingredients that are in it, especially the avocado, that gives it a totally different dimension and it makes a beautiful, beautiful eat. Yes, you know, it shrimp. looks great. <laughs> so I was saying I don't eat shrimp enough because it is actually very easy to prepare. But we'll talk about, uh, yeah. you know, the proper shrimp to use. Absolutely. First, let's talk about this guy. Avocados. The fruit. Avocado, which we just I learned. love this thing. You know, yeah, I mean, me this, this is my Sunday go-to when I'm home. I want to watch TV and just make a bowl of uh, guacamole, buy oh, some good chips, gosh. and yes. I'm home. That's you know, the I mean, best. I love this stuff. I could know? just scoop that out and eat it by itself. Though. Yeah, absolutely. I love avocado, I mean, but I uh, love guacamole. It does take a little bit of getting used to because it feels very fatty and very greasy. But yeah, uh, you but know, it's I mean, good it's, fat. It's, yeah, it's the good fat. It's, it's like a chocolate bar. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I want it. I want a chocolate bar you know to be that what? healthy for you, but it's. Not. I don't know if I can make that transfer yet. <laughs> 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 but it's interesting because a beautiful avocado is this one. Yeah. Okay. This this is is relatively firm, but it gives a bit. Right. Okay. So that's when you buy them. Uh, avocados you have to feel and you have to feel them and you have to squeeze them gently yeah so when you feel that they give a bit then you know that they're ripe this one is it's, overripe it's and done. this is not good this is exactly I don't know what's inside it because this is like a box of chocolate you don't know what you're gonna you never get. know it might and, be brown though uh, but it might be brown exactly and exactly that you see that I would not, still eat that yeah it, it could be still edible but uh, I, I wouldn't really you know you, I mean, you want it to, you want it to look more like this but yeah. I, I'd still eat it I want it to look more like I that. would now, I'm you, cheap you buy them firm <laughs> yeah and then you know what they're selling in supermarket they're selling bag full of avocados right and and they have all mixed uh, ripeness yeah I don't like to put them in the fridge unless I'm not gonna eat them for the next few days me too you put them in yeah, the, leave it out exactly you gotta leave them out you yeah. have to leave it alone and in even in the fridge they will go completely black and completely useless mm -hmm. just like that one refrigerated for too long mm -hmm. and this is what happens it over ripens and then it just goes bad bad looking yeah. that, that's not uh, that's not a healthy not guacamole cute. if you no. get that no not cute. beautiful guacamole is when you get it nice and red and i love the fact that it's got the yellow and the dark green yes. it makes an awesome guacamole but you also don't want it to be not ripe enough as well like no. when you get it and it's just hard forget it right i've seen avocado being used actually grilled and, and cooked and sauteed mm. and all that but you need the harder one mm. uh, there are some recipes out there uh, I am uh, familiar with avocados um, if only for the last few years, basically, when I came to Canada. Yeah. And uh, I, I love them. I yeah. absolutely adore them, and I like the traditional ways. So, having said that, we have, a salad. Uh, we have a beautiful salad right there mm -hmm. that to me reminds me of a, a nice ceviche type. Okay, and I have red, yellow, green peppers. Yeah. I have... Uh, chive uh, sorry green onions I chopped them and I put them right in and I want all the flavors really to develop with it uh, I put a little bit of cilantro as well and yeah. then I have lime and mm -hmm. this is the best tools to squeeze lime I mean you want to have this stuff here to macerate and really Oof. donate the flavor did I get you that's fine yeah <laughs> nothing wrong with a little lime good for the digestion I've heard. is it really yeah I love when we get like a chef approved uh, product though on the show like if, if if Massimo uses it then it works oh I do <laughs> right? I love this I love this a little bit of salt just like that and that's not a little bit that that's a nice amount and you have to feel it okay <laughs> Wow. It's just enough. What do you think? Food come pre flavored? <laughs> I mean, give me a break. You know, you take your shrimp. Do you want to talk a little bit about that uh, shrimp? Yeah. What shrimp uh, do you, you like? Know, that's one well, last night uh, when we were preparing this, I was telling Rosa mm -hmm. about the shrimp. And, uh, you know, normally we stay away from cocktail shrimp, shrimp cocktail, because, you know, the shrimp are flavorless. They're boiled in plain water. Yeah. And I am old school. I don't care who knows it. <laughs> and you know they're kind of sloppy and wet those cocktails right? yeah and but teeny, you know what tiny little things you need to make a courbouillon okay you need okay. you do need to make a courbouillon I don't know what that word uh, is basically you have to prepare the water you boil the water you put wine you put lemon juice you put salt you put uh, flavor yeah. you know flavor that's what uh, most people forget oh. and then you just plunge your shrimps in you wash them very well, otherwise mm -hmm. they might have some of that uh, plasma that they possess, you know, the blood. Yeah. And you don't want to have that, obviously. No. And, um, you know, you have to actually take them out as soon as it boils, you take them out and try to just rinse them quickly to cool water, but don't really overcool them. And 
this salad here, by the way, needs to marinate at least 10 minutes. Okay, so uh, that 10, all the flavors can minutes. Yeah, so that all the flavors really, really bind yeah, together. Exactly. And then you just put it on the plate. Oh, I love it. So you can either cut up the shrimp or you can leave them whole like absolutely. this both ways. It looks so fresh, like yeah, a, a beautiful summer meal. Absolutely. Yeah, and a few, then you a add few tomatoes. tomatoes. A few tomatoes. Yeah, why not? Yeah. And, uh, and then you can add a few shrimp just uh, for garnish. Very nice. Just like okay, that. Okay, now you know a little bit about the avocado and a little bit about the shrimp, and, and you know I'm a little bit cheap. I eat the bad avocado. That's right. Let's go to break. Citywine.ca for the recipe.